What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Living in Lex on the show where we talk about all things eating, sleeping, playing, real estate, you name it. We've probably got it on this show for Lexington and the surrounding Lexington areas. The episode that I have in store for you all today is no different than the rest, but I want to go a little bit outside of the Lexington market to a city just north of here that was labeled the fastest growing city in Kentucky for the past several years now and that's Georgetown, Kentucky. I wanna also add and say that I'm a local Lexington native and real estate agent. I'm not only helping people move to Lexington, I'm also making helping people move to the surrounding areas with Georgetown being one of them. So if you're thinking about making the move to Georgetown or Lexington, or just have questions about one of those areas or the surrounding areas of Lexington, feel free to reach out to me anytime via text, call, email me. I'll leave my information down below for you all. I absolutely love it when people reach out from the channel so reach out if I can help you in any way now I talk a lot about Lexington and the surrounding areas of Lexington because Lexington is a pretty sprawling city I think at some point in my lifetime we're gonna see the end of new homes in Lexington so at some point all of the surrounding cities to it are kind of just kind of merged together to become Lexington we're already really seeing this areas like Nicholasville Versailles, Georgetown Richmond they've all seen massive growth in the past several years and that's just because there's not a lot of places anymore to live in Lexington without spending a little bit more so you can go outside of the city spend a little bit less at a 20 or 30 minute commute and save on your mortgage payment and since you all like my top five video for the neighborhoods in Lexington I thought it only appropriate to go to Georgetown Kentucky just to the north of Lexington to the fastest growing city and talk about the top five neighborhoods in Georgetown Kentucky let's get into it <music> If you're watching this video, I'd almost be willing to place a bet on why you're watching it and why you might be moving to Georgetown, Kentucky. And I bet you it's because you're going to take a job at Toyota. Toyota is a massive reason why Georgetown has experienced so much growth in the past several years. They just have a lot of employees. Last time I checked, there were more than 15,000 employees there and they're hiring people every day. I've actually never heard many complaints about people that work at Toyota there. I mean, every year they rent out a whole roller coaster park in Kings Island, so it's gotta be a pretty cool place to work, right? But even if you're not going to work at Toyota, there's a lot of cool opportunities that Georgetown has to offer, such as commuting to Lexington. It's really not that far from Lexington. If you're going to Leestown Road or have a job in northern Lexington, you may only have a 10, 15, 20 minute drive to get to work every day. Before we just jump into the top five neighborhoods of Georgetown, I just want to let you know that Georgetown is very different in terms of the homes that they have to offer compared to Lexington. So if you watch my top five neighborhoods in Lexington, it's going to seem a lot different. Like I said before, Georgetown has been the fastest growing city in Kentucky for many years now, so that means there's a lot of new homes in Georgetown, whereas in Lexington, I talked a lot about the older, more established neighborhood and fixing those homes up and how beautiful they can be and how much value they can hold. But while in Georgetown, a lot of those homes are new construction neighborhoods or were built in the 90s and beyond. So for the number five neighborhood that I have for Georgetown, Kentucky is the Colony. One of the biggest things that I hear people talk about when they refer to the Colony neighborhood is just how how close it is to everything that you want in Georgetown. I also hear a lot of people talk about how close it is to a lot of the schools there. Being practically within walking distance for most parts of the neighborhood to Scott County Middle School and High School and Ann Mason Elementary School. The Scott County Park and Fairgrounds are basically right next to this neighborhood and Scott County is a much more of a rural community so they do use their fairgrounds quite a bit more than most other big cities would. You also have Lusby Lake right next door to it so if you're a fishing lover and like to spend time with friends and family family. It's a great place to go, especially being right next to the neighborhood. Homes built in the colony have been built from the early 90s all the way up until now. There aren't many homes built now. Most of the homes in this community are newer. And of course, the grace part about a newer home is most of the systems in the home, like the roof, HVAC, are all newer systems, which usually means they can be a little bit less work than some other homes. Not only that, but the best part of this neighborhood above all else has got to be the median home price. Sitting at a median price, of about $214,000. Compared to the median home price of Lexington of about $250,000, which probably didn't even get you into a lot of the neighborhoods that I've talked about in these videos, 
this is a great deal. My number four option is not really a neighborhood per se, but number four is to live in rural Scott County. So Georgetown is the biggest city within Scott County, and Scott County and Georgetown being kind of small compared to Lexington or Louisville or some of those bigger cities that are out there with a population of around 50,000, there's a lot of really great rural and land opportunities for most people that they really love. If you told me you were buying a land lot in Lexington and that it costs two, $250,000, I probably wouldn't be all that surprised considering that land in Lexington is super expensive these days. You can buy a couple of acres in Scott County, be separate from your neighbors, which I know a lot of people love and love the idea of living on a little bit of land, and it won't cost you quite as much as something like that would in Lexington. Now, the price is really vary on land in Georgetown depending on the size of the land and the home you buy, but a couple of acres may only cost you three or $400,000 plus the house. You could sometimes get it for a little less a little more it all kind of depends on what you want and if you really want to go out all out or if you're interested in buying a farm or a horse farm I've actually already made a video on buying a horse farm in Kentucky and specifically the central Kentucky area so go check it out if you're interested in something like that one of the other more common desires that I hear about buying land in Georgetown Kentucky is the ability to buy a land lot which you might not have to spend a hundred thousand dollars on depending on how much land you want of course buy that land lot, and then of course build a home on it, whether it be yourself or what I recommend, hiring a builder to come out there and do it for you. And of course, if you're interested, I do have a lot of builder contacts, so reach out to me and I can get you in contact with the builder or even show you some land that you can buy too. So for the number three home on this top five list, I have one that by far probably has the best location for most people, and that is Pleasant Valley. The Pleasant Valley neighborhood is the closest to Toyota and I-75, so if you're working at either Toyota or down in Lexington or wherever you may work, it's likely the fastest and quickest commute to work from this neighborhood. It's also the closest neighborhood to many of the stores that Georgetown has to offer, being Walmart, Kohl's, Tractor Supplies, and there's even a Planet Fitness nearby. And if you're a golf lover, Cherry Blossom Golf Course is right down the road. And I don't know about you, but I love a good steak restaurant or a steakhouse. So if you love steak, by far my favorite in Georgetown is Cattleman's Roadhouse. Pleasant Valley neighborhood is a new construction community. If you want a quick commute to work, whether it be at Toyota or Lexington, you can expect a median home price here of around $274,000. For my number two neighborhood on this list, it's a little bit more of a unique one and probably one of my favorite ones that we're gonna be talking about, and that neighborhood is Mallard Point. Now, Mallard Point, in terms of area, is a pretty big neighborhood, but in terms of the amount of homes that are here, it's not that big. One of the best parts that this neighborhood has going for it is the amount of land that you get with a lot of these homes. So yes, if you want a neighborhood with a little bit of a land on it, then this is probably the neighborhood for you. Not only that, but one of my favorite features of this neighborhood is most of the homes here are sitting right on a lake and have lake access. Most of the homes that were built here were built from the late 80s to many of which being built now. So there's a really wide range of homes that are being built here. There's not a ton of homes being built here, although they have been developing it more in recent years. So the odds of you finding a new home here are pretty strong too. If you wanna live in a lake community with homes sitting on larger lots than many of the neighborhoods that we talked about previously, check out Mallard Point and you can expect a median home price of around $390,000. And the number one home on my list of the top five homes in Georgetown is by far the one that I have the most of my clients talk about, and the number one home being Canewood. Some of the best things that Canewood has going for it is it's near the new high school in Georgetown being Great Crossing. For those of you that don't know anything about Great Crossing High School, they just built one back a few years ago, and if you wouldn't believe it, this school is awesome. They have a lot of really cool stuff in the school, one of the coolest of which I think has got to be their indoor practice football facility. They take football very serious in Scott County and they love it a lot. They beat a lot of other teams. The Cincinnati Bengals don't even have an indoor practice football facility and this high school does, so it's pretty crazy. Besides the high school, it's a golf community, and a lot of the homes are actually surrounding the golf course, so if you're a golf lover, this is probably the best neighborhood on the list for you. It has one of the most balanced areas of Georgetown, being close to a little bit of it all in Georgetown. Most of the major shopping, churches, and everything else that you can do in Georgetown is surrounding 
this neighborhood. Not only those things, but one of the biggest reasons that I decided to rank it number one on the list is just with the sheer amount of people that I hear on a daily basis that want to get into this neighborhood. With as much hype that Canewood receives and as many clients that I have asked about it, it's got to rank number one on this list. Homes have been built here from the late 90s all the way to brand new, new construction homes being built today. And you can expect for the number one neighborhood in Georgetown, Kentucky of a median home price of about $311,000. Georgetown is a booming and great place with a lot of great neighborhoods. There are many more that I didn't talk about on this list today, so go check it out or reach out to me so we can talk about some of the other great neighborhoods they have to offer. Also, in case you didn't know, I'm a local Lexington native and real estate agent. I'm helping people relocate to Lexington every day that are moving to Georgetown, Lexington, and the surrounding areas like we've talked about. I absolutely love it whenever you all reach out from these YouTube videos asking questions about the areas I love, talking about relocating to Lexington or Georgetown and the surrounding Lexington areas. It's absolutely my favorite thing ever. So if you're thinking about making the move to Lexington or Georgetown within the next year or so, I'm going to leave my information down below. Feel free to text, call, email me at any time. I absolutely love it whenever you all reach out. If you like the content that my video is putting out and want to see more of it, be sure to go down below this video and press the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you know when more videos come up. That way I can start putting out more content for you all that you love. Also, go to the comments. If you have a neighborhood that you love in Georgetown, leave it below. Or if you want to see a specific video topic, leave it down there below for me too. That concludes this one of the top five neighborhoods in Georgetown, Kentucky. And I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Living in Lex.